Hi, babe. Sorry, I don't hook up with guys on the street. What do you say now, babe? Is that your car? Well, yeah, it is. I'm Linda. Wanna go for a ride, Linda? Yeah, sure. Uh, can I drive? What's in it for me? If you give me the keys, you can go to my place. <laughs> oh, can you take a picture of me driving? My friends will die of jealousy. No problem. Thank you. Where? You! Mr. Roger, I don't know how to say it to you. Some girl stole my car. Uh, that's right. I don't know how it happened. I already called the police. I know you did. But they can't find the car. You'll have to work for me. For free. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. For about 300 years. Can you last that long? Uh, maybe 500 years. For that kind of... <laughs> You little brat! We're picking up chicks in my car and thought I wouldn't find out, huh? I'm gonna destroy you, yes, sir. You little stupid piece of uh, uh, Sir, it's not my fault. You're picking up girls in my car. Sure, brunette with brown eyes, right? Derek, honey, coming out. Uh, honey? Yes, this is my daughter. She studied in Europe and came here for a week. Nice to meet you. I told you we were going to my place. Derek, exhale. Starting today, you're her driver for a week. Uh, okay, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> yeah, be prepared. We're going on a picnic tomorrow. Macho man. Yourself. A reward freak. <laughs> Remember me, classmate? Hi, Kyle. Mm. How are you, loser? I'm busy, Kyle. Uh, you're busy? You got the job driving for some rich guy, huh? Or are you just washing his car? That's none of your business. <laughs> Years have passed, but you're still the same loser I locked in school, locker. Hey, honey. Thanks for waiting. Is that your friend? It's uh, Kyle, my classmate. Kyle, huh? That moron who couldn't figure out 2 plus 2, right? What? what? Oh, well, yeah. It's that moron. What did you say? Oh, he seems a little aggressive. That's so normal for less intelligent people. Come on, honey, let's go. Yeah, honey, come on. Why didn't you stand up to that idiot? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not like picking up girls with a sport car. To be honest, it was the first time. Listen, you don't need a fancy car to hook up girls. You think so? Yeah. Just believe in yourself. Listen to your heart and do what it says. And don't give a damn about anything else. That's the only way to succeed. So, what is your dream? What do you mean? Well, I don't think that you dream of being my father's driver. I like photography. 
group treasure. Uh, that's why I have my camera all the time with me, yeah. looking for interesting faces. This is great. Just have a little more faith in yourself and you'll succeed. <laughs> so what are you doing? Oh, oh I thought uh, if I was, we were having a picnic. <laughs> yeah, me and my boyfriend. Oh, there he is. Hi, honey. Hey. Sorry, I had a patient. Oh, that's totally very fine. We've got everything ready. This is Terry. He's my driver. And he's also a photographer. And he has a great future. And I just about convinced him to take a couple of photos of us. Uh, yeah, sure. <sighs> All right. Uh, what should we do? Oh, nothing. Act like normal. Not my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just take me home, okay? Yeah, okay. Where's Bill? Oh, he got called into work. You know, just a typical day of the neurosurgeon. Mm. Let me see the photos. The lighting was bad. It doesn't look great. That's too bad. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Rogers. Hi. Derek, are you sleeping? No. Surgery, my dad's out of town. Do you want to come over and make me company? I what? Please come over. I'm waiting for you. Derek, finally you're here. Hi. Listen. This is my friend Lisa, and she's very interested in mail company. But I... Come on, get it together. And stop doubting yourself, okay? All right, Mrs. Rogers. You can call me Caroline. And, uh, I lied a bit about you, there. What? Just to make it easier. What? And, and take off this awful glasses. So, cake glasses? Lisa, look who's here. Hi, Derek. Hi. I'm Lisa. I'm Caroline's friend. Nice to meet you. She told me so much about you. How did you get Lady Gaga to do that photo shoot? <laughs> you know, we were in the club and I... Uh... And? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear this story for a hundred times, please. Oh, don't be so selfish. I'm just curious. Uh, curious, right. You know, Lisa, I've got an idea. You know, it's getting really late, and what if Derek will give you a ride home and he'll tell you all about it on the way, no? I don't know. It's a little bit awkward. Oh, that's totally fine. Have you ever driven a sport car? Really? Okay. I just need one more minute, okay? One more minute. Okay. 
you'll thank me later. Derek? What happened? Why did you come back? I just wanted to tell you that I got a car back. Where is Lisa? She's at home. That's all? She asked to come in for coffee. Well, that sounds gross. What did you say? Who drinks coffee at night? Derek, are you an idiot? I mean, if you want to be a loser, then be one. That is your life. That's right. It's my life. Don't ever do that again, Mrs. Roger. Why did you wake me up? I told you to tell you that the car is here and it's okay. Oh, are you sure that the car is okay and you didn't hit something on the way here? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me. Tell me what you really want to say. Come. Tell me. Tell me what the real reason. Finally, finally you did something right. But you have a fiance. Yes, I do. And I, I love him. I'm gonna marry him. We're gonna have children. But what you did was right. I don't understand. Why did you kiss me back? Just listen to your heart and do what it says. And don't give a damn about anything else. That was a cruel what you just did. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Tell your father I quit. Derek, nice to see you. Why didn't you tell me about the expansion of your family? I would have prepared a gift. I want you to improvise. <laughs> Lisa, you're very lucky to have such a husband. Can you believe it? He used to work for me as a driver, but I always said he had a streak. It's my teaching. If it weren't for me, he wouldn't be where he is today. Well, this is for you. No way. A gift for an old friend. My first work in the new exhibition. An exclusive. I love you, Derek. Guys, my collector friends will die of envy. An exclusive from Derek Lambert himself. Thank you. Derek, do you remember my daughter? Hey. Uh, hi, Caroline. Bill, this is my wife, Lisa. Everyone's here. And as the birthday boy, I'd like to give the first toast to Derek. Thank you for coming, buddy. Mr. Rogers. No, Dylan. I don't have a long speech. All can I say is thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>